<laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to Minecraft on the Vintage Beef Vintage Craft server. I am jumping up and down on Paz's tables because I'm trying to get myself hungry enough to eat breakfast as Paz says. Paz says eat your breakfast so I was trying to get myself hungry but no. Sorry Paz, no hunger here. Don't need any breakfast just yet. So anyway guys, I want to show you something. I want to show you that over there. So I've been building on that and I still have not completed it yet, but we're almost there. We're very, very close, but I wanted to, tr I wanted to try something today. I want to show you what I've been doing over here and what I want to try. So let me get up here and coming soon, Silski's Tatami Sushi House. Yes, this is going to be our shop. This is not going to be our house. This is going to be our shop, so I'm not going to have a bed in here. Well, actually, I might have a bed in here, but maybe like a like a seating arrangement or something like that. But anyway, this is not going to be our house. This is going to be our shop. We are going to sell fish in our sushi house. <laughs> I figured, you know, since everybody else is building shops here, we may as well build a shop too. Um, and we won't make this our living quarters. We'll make this our place of business and then our living quarters will be in the, uh, the Husky Island or the, the snow biome that I showed you before in a previous episode. So what I want to do right now is I want to try out um, some doors. Now I thought you know the birch doors look really... Uh, Japanese houses like the tatami houses, the tatami style houses, they have like the sliding like, like paper doors or paper mache or I assume I've never been in Japan, guys. And if I'm getting this all wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, for those of you who are actually Japanese or have anything to do with Japanese culture, if I'm getting this all wrong, I, I really apologize. This is how I see Japan. This is how I see Japanese architecture. Anyway, the closest thing in Minecraft that I have with a, a Japanese door would be a birch door. Doesn't that look like a Japanese door? I mean, I know it doesn't slide open like that right there, but um. I think that's going to work. I, I like how that looks against the dark oak and the dark uh, terracotta. So let's try that. And these right here also. So let's go ahead and go out here and look at that and see how that works. I'm thinking maybe it will. I'm hoping it will. Let's get back here. Oh, falling on the water here. Jump up here and hey, that's not bad. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I thought maybe that would look good, and it does. I'm really pleased with that. Let me get up close, see what it looks like up close. I think that's going to work. I have a few ideas that I'm going to try today. That was the first on my list, and I think that's going to work. Actually, I need to fill in this space right here. Let me grab this uh, black terracotta here, and there, there. Oh, that's nice, guys. I like that. I like that a lot. That's gonna work. That's gonna work. All right, let's do the same thing with the back door. Right there and right there. Let me get over here and make sure it should it should work because they both look the same. Oh yeah, yeah, I like that. I do, I do like it. So we'll we'll keep it like that. That will be our uh, doorway for our sushi house. And since this is a Japanese theme, one thing that's big in Japan or I assume it is um, from what I've seen um, bonsai trees we need to add a few bonsai trees around I know I already have these little uh, spruce trees around the, the path here but I wanted to make some bonsai trees in order to make bonsai trees I need some clay and I have it I went and got clay today um, let's see yeah we have 44 clay and let's go ahead and cook some of these up. I don't know how many I'm going to need. Tell you what, let's go ahead and throw that many in there and just so it cooks faster we'll split these up like uh, that many in there and then throw the rest of them in there. So we'll go ahead and cook up some clay bricks and we'll make up some pots and then we will make our bonsai trees. Anyway guys I'm, I went to the mesa today and I have gathered up a lot more of the uh, black terracotta and then I went out to Husky Island and I grabbed a lot of a lot more white wool. Uh, I'm not gonna really need a whole lot more of it because I'm almost done. Really, all I have to do now is put the 
the uh, steep slanted roof um, up there on the top. So let's go ahead and prepare, while, while the clay is cooking, let's go ahead and prepare that with our wool and see if I can figure out where I put, there's the wool. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab all of that. And uh, we'll go ahead and prepare the the uh, the walls to put the rest of that roof on there. So let's get up here and there, 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 and there. Okay. Well, that was easy. Well, I know I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to extend some of these. I don't know. Anyway, I, I'll worry about that later once once I get ready to do that. So let's go down here and check and see if our clay is ready yet. It should be. We should have a few bricks down here now. And yes, we do. There's four, there's three of them there, and there's three of them there. Let's uh, make up some clay pots. Right there, there, and there. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we got. Well, we're going to need more than that. Let's go ahead and grab some more of these bricks here. Make up a few more of those. Well, we'll go ahead and go with four of those for now. And we'll just see how they look. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to set these out next to the walkway. Like there. And I don't know, maybe I should spread them out a little, like there and there. Yeah. And one right there. Actually, I'd like to have one somewhere around in here as well. So let's go ahead and pick that one up. There you go. Okay, and we'll set this one down right about, right about, well, we have one right there. Let's get down here. Here. Yeah, that's good. All right, so what do we need for bonsai trees? Saplings. Of course, you guys probably already thought, <laughs> thought about that, but that that make, would make a perfect bonsai tree. Sorry guys, my phone is is buzzing over here. I hope you guys can't hear that. That's annoying. Um, I think this Twitter going off there. All right, let's see. We got spruce saplings. Let's go ahead and grab those. And I believe we have some other saplings. No, more spruce. Oh, here we go. Oak saplings. We're gonna need those. Actually, we don't need that many of them, but that's all right. And I think I have birch saplings somewhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I do. Did I overlook those? Did you guys see those? I don't. I don't see them. Oh, sugarcane. That would make some good, uh, like like bamboo style. Um, I don't know if you call the bamboo in in the pots. If you would call that bonsai. And let's get down here. I think I have. You know what, guys? I think I left the uh, the birch in the ender chest, so I'm gonna have to run out to the center of spawn here and grab these birch saplings. I'll be right back. Well, it looks like I have dark oak saplings. I'm sure that I grabbed birch saplings also, and I don't see them, and I don't know why. I don't know where I would have put them. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, anyway guys, let's get back over here. I'm pretty sure that I did bring back birch saplings. I know that I did, but I don't know where they are. But that was one of the saplings that I wanted to use uh, for my bonsai trees. So let's get back over here and see if we can find them, guys, because I'm, I'm very positive that I brought those back. And you guys might have seen those in my chest and I just overlooked them. I don't know. I do that sometimes. Anyway, guys, let's get in here and check that out. Come on. Uh, no. You guys see any birch saplings anywhere? No. Okay. No. <laughs> Where did they go? Guys, I, I promise you, I had birch saplings. Oh! 
Don't bother touching my spaghetti! Yeah. I think somebody has taken a few saplings that weren't theirs. Oh well, that's alright. We can go grab more. Doesn't matter. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and test these out, see how they look. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, oak sapling first and try that. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. That is, that is a perfect looking bonsai tree. All right, let's grab the uh, dark oak, see how that looks. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then the spruce, let's see how the spruce looks. Nice, okay. Actually, the, the spruce is not as bonsai looking. I'm not crazy about the spruce in there. Let's go ahead and take that up. Okay, that there. Let's try, all right, we've tried the oak sapling, we've tried the dark oak sapling, we've tried the spruce sapling. Let's try sugarcane. Oh, does sugarcane not work in pots? I thought it did. I could have sworn that I'd seen sugarcane in the pots before. Really, that doesn't work. Okay. Well, anyway, we need to go grab some birch saplings. Yeah. We need to go grab some birch saplings and uh, let's go do that now. A few moments later. All right, guys, we got them. We got them. Well, I got three of them. I tell you what, these. These birch saplings are hard to come by. So let's check this out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. I do still like the oak and dark oak saplings best. Especially the oak, I think. I think the oak is the best one. And dark oak probably second best. But birch will work also. So, yeah. Yeah, that works also. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll make up some more of these clay pots. And... We will line our walkway with bonsai trees. I don't want to crowd my walkway with, with them, but I do want enough of them to kind of, you know, give it that, that bonsai, uh, the bonsai, what do you call it? Well, to look like it's lined with bonsai trees, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Let's go ahead and put one right here and take that one down. Yeah. And put one there. Yeah. And we need one here. Take that one down. Yeah, that's good. I think that should be enough. Let's go ahead and grab our oak saplings and our dark oak saplings. So we'll go ahead and put oak here. Yeah. Oh, this is this is great guys this is perfect and that one yeah okay there we go oh that's awesome that is so awesome <laughs> I love that I mean that looks perfect all right we'll place birch in there and then we'll go back with an oak sapling and we have dark oak and we'll place birch there very nice guys I see that Paz has moved some of these uh, sugarcane off to that area instead of having them along here. So in, since he's done that, I might just extend some of this dark oak around the water here, maybe. Or or I could just put the dark um, black terracotta right here, here. And well, I guess that would be it. Probably right here and here. And then put maybe dark oak here and then I guess leave it like it is yeah but anyway guys those bonsai trees look awesome I love them that is cool that turned out exactly how I wanted it to and actually I need to decorate the back walk as well so I'm gonna have to go ahead and make up some more of those clay pots but that won't be a problem because I have plenty of clay nice <laughs> I love it guys that turned out exactly as I hoped very nice very very nice okay yeah so we have our bonsai trees along the walkway and now what we need to do is that right up there we need to fix that and once we fix that we can start on the interior of our our sushi restaurant here 
and finish this up so that we can get started on Husky Island. All right, what do we need to do? We need to grab our dark terracotta and our dark oak and yeah we need to grab that for now and then we'll take a look at it after we get that up there and see what else we need to do all right guys I think I have all my materials ready I have my white wool dark oak stairs dark oak planks and I have my black terracotta so let's get busy Guys, I have made two different designs here. Uh, let's see, I forgot to put the plank right there. I've made two different designs here. I have this style roof, and I'm not sure if either one of them works. I've got to get down there and look at it from, from the ground up. But I have this style right here, where it kind of drops down right here on the corner. Not sure if that's going to work or not, but I thought I'd play around with that anyway. And then I have this side over here, where it's just flat across the side. and um, I'm I'm not real sure about this. I'm gonna have, like I said. I'm gonna have to get back down there and check this out. So let's go ahead and drop down there and see what this looks like. I'm trying to find a, a a good spot to look at it because I want to see it from all angles. It's not bad. Let me run over here. Let's check it out right here. Oh, you know what, guys? It's looking good. I'm not. I can't really tell if I like this side or that side. Hmm. <laughs> Let me find another angle to look at this thing from. This is a tough decision. Oh yeah, there we go. That's really not bad, guys. Uh, hmm. What do I like best? Okay. I, I'll tell you what. I'm going to run over there and see if I can find a spot to look. Hey, if I turn my my angle like this right here I can see it better okay I'm gonna run over there and see if I can get a spot to look at it from over there and then I'm gonna run over there behind it and look at look at it from the other side so I'm gonna jump up here on top of ooh, jump up here on top of beef's house and I should have a better view from up here maybe right up here on top of beef's well I guess on top of beef's hill all right that uh, that's kind of funny looking from here, but I can't tell if it's just the angle that I'm looking at it or if it's the roof that actually looks funny. Uh, let me get over here actually on top of Beef's house. Yeah, yeah, I'm still, uh, still can't tell. Tell you what guys, let's, uh, let's run over there behind it and check it out. I can see that I really don't like that right there. Just looking at it from this side. So let me get over there behind it and just make sure. Because I'm thinking that's not going to work right there. Okay, let's look at it from here. Uh, hmm. That's... <laughs> it's tough, guys. It's really tough. Because from back here, looking at it flat... That actually looks better than this side right here, I think. But I don't know, guys. I'm going to have to. <sighs> this is tough. It's really tough. Let me get up here on top of Stiller's uh, biodome and check it out from up there. Okay, guys. Yeah, uh, I've got it all wrong. There's supposed to be a hangover right there. And I have placed that wool in the wrong spot for one thing. There's, that wool should not stick out like that. There should be a hangover with this roof. And I did not design it like that. And actually, I'm not crazy about this angle right here. I'm going to have to work on that. So let me go back to work, and I'm going to fix this, and I'll come right back to you. All right, guys. We're back, and I was kind of standing out away from the house looking at it. And uh, beef. I found beef. <laughs> and it uh, looks like beef has a lot of cats up there. I don't know what he's doing with the cats, but... Uh, Anyway, uh, I stopped and said hi to him, but uh, 
Trying to see what he thinks about my, my house there. I think maybe... maybe he's recording, doing something? I don't know. I don't know, we'll wait and see. See if he says anything. Okay, he's gone inside his house. I think he's going to be doing a little bit of work in there. But uh, we'll try to catch him later. I want to see what he says about the my, my shop here. Uh, let's see if he likes it or not. Maybe he does. I don't know. We'll see. Let me get up here and... Oh! Sorry, I wanted to show you guys this. I, I've uh, finished the roof, I think. And I really, really like it. Let me get up here and show you. Check that out. <laughs> that that really turned out well you can see I added the little upturn on the corners there uh, using slabs like half slabs that worked really well I really really like that so let me get over here and show you a little bit of a different angle on it right over here look at that that looks good now I am pleased with that right there I'm very pleased so, but one thing I need to do though is work on the walls. The uh, the white wool it looks really well. It, lo it goes really well like that. But I want to add a little bit of flair to it. So I'm thinking about maybe adding a few more uh, birch doors up there just to give it a little bit of a paper window look. I, I don't know what you call those things—the sliding doors with the paper windows. But uh, I want to give it sort of that look up there and maybe up there as well so let's go over there and try that see how that works what's up Paz what do you think about my roof noise all right Paz likes it yeah it even looks good from back here I'm really pleased with the roof it just took a little bit of work but I think I've got it now so now I'm gonna go work on those walls. Hmm, I don't know guys, that's... It doesn't look bad. <laughs> it doesn't look bad. Paz down there <laughs> throwing stuff at me or, or whatever it is. I think it's a fishing rod. But anyway guys, it doesn't look bad, but um... I don't know. It, I'm still debating whether I like it just solid white up there or if I like the birch doors up there at the top. I'm really, really, really indecisive about that. <laughs> I just went. I just got out of my bed and turned around and we have a creeper in a boat <laughs> inside the house. That's not good. And I'm glad I have a bow here because I don't want him <laughs> I don't want him blowing my stuff up, but I'm glad he went that way and not this way. I did leave my door open and I thought about that, but I thought, eh, what's the odds? Well, it looks like the odds were against me. Let's take care of this dude. So glad I had that boat there. This could have been really bad. All right, guys, we have the exterior of our shop completed. And we have the interior of the shop cleaned up and ready to be stocked. Now, I still have to furnish the inside here, but check this out. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I love it, guys. This looks really, really good. Nice. Now we got to go fish and stock this place that's going to take a while that's more time than what i have today so guys that's going to do it for me today we've gotten a lot accomplished in this episode we have finished the exterior of our shop and we have finished the interior of our shop all that's left to do now is just to stock the place and we'll start building on our place on husky island and that's going to be a lot of fun guys that's going to be a whole lot of fun so until next time guys i really 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 appreciate your support if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing that please Please consider doing that and hit that like button if you don't mind, guys. And until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye-bye.
Oh, 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 oh,